Hello and welcome to St Stephen Walbrook for morning prayer. Today is Michaelmas, a time of change, the start of a new university term for some, but also the feast of Michael and all angels, a reminder of God's changelessness, his mercy and loving care for us. Michael is regarded as the protector of Christians from the devil, particularly those close to death. He's patron saint of police officers. So today we give thanks for the many ways in which God's loving care watches over us, both directly and indirectly. And we're reminded that the richness and variety of God's creation far exceeds our knowledge of it. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of his, this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city, where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. We'll say Psalms 34 and 150. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. My soul shall glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look upon him and be radiant, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor soul cried, and the Lord heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is gracious. Blessed is the one who trusts in him. Fear the Lord, all you his holy ones, for those who fear him lack nothing. Lions may lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, my children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is there that delights in life and longs for days to enjoy good things? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. 
The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and will save those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous. From them all will the Lord deliver them. He keeps all their bones, so that not one of them is broken. But evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and will condemn none who seek refuge in him. Psalm 150. Alleluia! O oh, praise God in his holiness! Praise him in the firmament of his power! Praise him for his mighty acts! Praise him according to his excellent greatness! Praise him with the blast of the trumpet! Praise him upon the lute and harp! Praise him with timbrels and dances! Praise him upon the strings and pipe! Praise him with ringing cymbals! Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verses 1 to 4. At that time, Michael, the great prince, the protector of your people, shall arise. There shall be a time of anguish, such as never occurred since the nations first came into existence. But at that time, your people shall be delivered, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars for ever and ever. But you, Daniel, keep the words secret and the book sealed until the time of the end. Many shall be running back and forth, and evil will increase. From the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. About that time King Herod laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He had James, the brother of John, killed with the sword. After he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the festival of unleavened bread. When he had seized him, he put him in prison and handed him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending to bring him out to the people after the Passover. While Peter was kept in prison, the church prayed fervently to God for him. The very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly! And the chains fell off his wrists. The angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realise that what was happening with the angel's help was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. 
After they had passed the first and second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them of its own accord, and they went outside and walked along a lane, when suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent this angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod and from all the Jewish people were expecting. We say the Song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our forefather Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation for the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. An angel announced the birth of Christ to Mary. Let us pray for all messengers of God, all bishops, priests, and deacons, for all in ministerial training, and for all the recently ordained. Blessed Lord of angels and archangels, lighten the path of all ministers of your church as they walk in the way of Christ, that they may grow in his likeness and persevere until they join him in eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Angels announced the birth of Christ to the shepherds with great joy, proclaiming glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favours. Blessed Lord of angels and archangels, may we glorify your name this day in all we do. May your truth be found on our lips and your love in our hearts. Guide us as we seek to end the animosity, the anger, and the violence that separates us from your eternal peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Angels ministered to Christ during his temptation in the wilderness. Let us pray for all those working to support and protect others from harm, asking for God's blessing especially this day for the work of police officers. Blessed Lord of angels and archangels, give your angels charge over us to guard us against the powers of evil. May they encircle and protect us so that we may serve you better and never lose our vision of your heavenly glory. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. An angel gave Christ strength in the Garden of Gethsemane at the time of his trial. We pray for the oppressed, for all who suffer, and for all who feel lost and abandoned. Blessed Lord of angels and archangels, strengthen us in our pain and distress when we feel isolated and alone, when it seems as though we have been forsaken and abandoned. May the angels and archangels watch over us with tenderness and lead us towards your outstretched arms. Lord, hear us. 
Lord, graciously hear us. Angels announced Christ's resurrection from the dead. We give thanks for the assurance of the resurrection life, and we pray for all the faithful departed. Blessed Lord of angels and archangels, receive with mercy all who have recently died. Those who have died as a result of the coronavirus. All those whom we love and see no longer. May they with the angels in heaven shine before us, guiding us towards your eternal kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Angels were present at the ascension of our Lord. Let us live this day in readiness for his coming again in glory. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The Collect for today. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the ministries of angels and mortals in a wonderful order. Grant that as your holy angels always serve you in heaven, so at your command they may help us and defend us on earth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer. Hope you have a wonderful day and a great week ahead.